big kayak adventure with my adventure buddy who's now driving me. So that's pretty fun. How do you like the big truck? Uh, the steering column has a little drift to it, a little play, and um, it's <laughs> not giving him the warm and fuzzies. <laughs> but he's a great driver. Flying down the freeway. Oh yeah, now, now we got it going on. I can get the little man to start carrying me around. At, at some point, if I keep doing this, I guess he'll have to carry my boat and help me get dressed and stuff too. Uh, he can return all the favors. <laughs> awesome, it just keeps getting better, folks. Heading to the Wilson Creek Go Fast Day. Ah, let's have fun. Beautiful day. And we are here at uh, Lost Cove. It's a pretty cool cabin. It's got a little privacy wall of Leland cypresses. Really cool under here. Got some hammocks, some wicker furniture. Oh yeah. Let's go around back. Oh, we got a little courtyard with a fire pit. Stone wall, grill, and Wilson Creek. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. That'd be, uh, yeah. And the OG Justin, the OG Justin. Here we are. Oh, they got the heat up in here. Whew. Goodness, gravy biscuits. Oh, we're gonna turn that thing down. Dang, it is a cranking. Yeah, we're gonna pull that off a little oh. bit. <laughs> all right, so we got three bedrooms. We're gonna sort it all out. <laughs> oh, they do have bunk beds. See? Yeah. Shoo, let's unload the boats and then start having fun. All right, folks, look who we found. World famous Brandon Nash. If you'll go back to uh, this video over here, you'll see Brandon learning how to roll in Farrington Point last summer. And here he is. Uh, he's been running wheels and all kind of good stuff. Crushed a hand roll the other day. He's run two laps today. He's going to run another one. Yep. And maybe he's going to go fast. Maybe. See how it goes. I think you should do it. We'll see. We'll see. All right, practice laps. 2024, Wilson Creek Go Fast on a Friday afternoon. Everything just got better because right here, world famous, Brian Davis. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> There's the main man right there, everybody. Oh, his helmet's looking good. I don't think I've seen that one yet. How long have you had that one? Maybe I have. I remember seeing the Green Bay thing, but... Did you have a different Green Bay helmet? Uh, yeah, I do. I think that's the one I saw. Oh, here we go, here we go. You got it, yep.
it's the skip. Are you good? Where'd it get you? I get something in here and we're back down hanging on the rocks. I don't think there's a hole as much as the Just stuck in the shallow? Yeah. <laughs> we're hitting rocks right here and came out of the boat right here. The worst. Hey man, do you remember me now that you're famous? Yeah. Right on, dude. You are a stud. I just want to let you know you're the man. It's River, everybody. Growing up, I'll have his autograph one day. It's cracked? You got some plastic? Or anybody got plastic? Can I eat I got some beans. I got Is it a straight up crack? Well, it's cracked a bunch of times, but most of them don't matter. But this is. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah. Uh, I don't have all my stuff with me. I was gonna say I don't have my stuff with me too. But if you tape it uh, on the inside when it's dry, it'll yeah. keep water out. At least I would the, and drill it out. If we could find a drill bit. You don't have to pull the seat out, so that's good. You need to stop the crack too, though, with like a little tiny yeah. drill bit. I mean, but after the race, I can weld that thing. I even got red plastic. In it. I would love. I would love to learn how to weld with you. <laughs> This is the one we need to stay all the way left. If it was on the gorge, it'd be one of the bigger rapids. Okay. It's pretty nice. It's just uh, stay on the left wall about as far as you can, and then you'll, you'll see it. It'll make sense to you. Okay. Run it blind. Go. Lead it. You only get to run it blind once. Just stay left. I'll talk to you. Right in the flow. Perfect! Fun little rapid, isn't it? And then hit the wall right there. Oh, he got lucky. Yeah!
I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. See if you find a shoe. I got a shoe. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm good. I had no room to work with that. Oh boy. All right, folks. This is all Justin and Adam's idea. Longboat lap, Wilson Creek. I got a confession, folks. It's a little embarrassing. I don't know how, but in all these years, I've never run a longboat down Wilson Creek. So here we are. We'll see what happens. About negative six and a half is dropped a little bit. The dagger outfitting feels great. I got a good crew. None of us have float bags. <laughs> Good luck. No swimming, all right? Game time. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's, yeah, that, that, that stability is not know, there. Ha ha! Woo! It's because your knees are lower. Yeah. I think that's what it is. All Man, right, rock spin. and it's longer. Yeah, go throw that rock spin. You get a rock spin with this, I'll give you a thousand dollars. You know what? Of Pineland cool. money. No, I'm just kidding. We got it on video. Oh, but it is fast. Woo! I didn't do that one good at all. It's not in. Oh no! Yeah! Dude, it's so fast. This is the tail of the tape right here, boys. It's the whole lap right here. It's easier. Everything's easier. I think so. I think it is. Let's see if this is easier. It's easier because you're having more fun.
Okay. I'm gonna go boo fly. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Main This more. Oh my goodness. Oh. Dude, Dude you caved it in three inches. Did it really? Oh yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Dude, I was like, where's Adam? <laughs> I was so close to doing that same thing, it scared the crap out of me. It didn't, it didn't feel, it didn't feel the same. I went deep. I felt my edge grab because I was expecting to stay on top. Oh. Paddle. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Rule number one. Don't go over the ledge sideways. <laughs> okay. You rolled like. You rolled with the purpose. Yeah. Oh, sweet mother of all that is holy. Really Don't slow down now. Yeah, Adam's boat's gonna divorce him at the end of this. <laughs> it's hard to come out a little bit. All right, here's the one I'm like, oh God. This, you, one, this one could be something. You better take the biggest right stroke of your life. Razorback wasn't great for me. No, it's not. Like but it was, it was, we all had bad lines. Look who I run into is John, Mary Jane, and Tim. And uh, kind of newer to the uh, whitewater game, but uh, Tim is going to run the gorge with me before the weekend's over. I think, uh, I think that's yes, what we're Tim. trying to talk him into. We're going to at least try the upper, see how he feels. 
And then, uh, then I got a team of guys that won't let him get out of the river, and we'll just force him down through the gorge. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we may have a new swimmer, <laughs> swim team club member, but um, and where y'all from? Greenville. 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 Here for the weekend at the resort. I'm telling you, check out Brown Mountain Beach Resort. It's a fabulous little spot. It's gorgeous. It is. And uh, it's even awesome. if yeah, even if you're not a boater, come up for the Go Fast Day. Have a good time. We'll catch y'all tomorrow. Yep. Sounds right, good. Cool. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. The runs are over, and we are here at Blue 42 with the crew. And um, we are almost ready for our table. We just have to let those people finish up and get the big table. You ready to eat, Alan? I've been ready. Alan, since that swim we want to talk about, hey. has been really ready to eat. So, uh, fortunately for Kevin, got it all on drone, baby. Woo! <laughs> There may have been some conversation about how much it would take for Kevin to accidentally blank the footage out. And maybe Alan wants to have that conversation with Kevin. Um, we can be bought here at the River Kings. Bet you won't hit him. Look at that. Yeah. All right, Alan with the heat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I slap you, Mama Good. I hear that. Y'all just go ahead and eat. Don't worry about us. We'll, uh, we'll get our food soon. Okay. Fish and chips for the Kevster. Talk to me. It looks moist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we do that again? Did it close up? <laughs> Talk to me. It looks moist. There's some people who don't like that. How is that? <laughs> All right, folks. Pee bring it. So good. Extra napkin, Joe. Mm. It was way past time for dinner. Oh, just one bite, I feel like a human again. Life in the cabin. Got my warm socks on. My yellow beanie on. I feel like I'm going to beat Justin tomorrow. What do you think about that? I'm not going to beat you tomorrow? Highly questionable. There's really two sides to the argument, and I'm not sure that we've heard both of them. Let's hear the other side. Um, well... Uh, as you get older, your testosterone drops. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine how unfair it'd be if I was your age? <laughs> <laughs>
look who got it. <laughs> See? The free beanie. All right. Woo! Hey, next is the, uh, That's the code. Awesome. Code, yes. Oh, you got to win the code. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Tell the world who you are. I'm Matt Ward. I've got the uh, Pals Ride channel, and I'm uh, Pete's rival. He's going to beat me today. No, no, I'm not. I've got he a may have a muscle. bruised rib, and I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to go, like, maybe fourth, and Pete will be 13th. So if he catches me, then he's done really good. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> good luck out there. Legendary Brian Davis, everybody. Coming in here to register. Oh yeah. We are all registered and now we're gonna run up to a uh, Collettesville General Store for the biscuit that's gonna propel us to victory. Or at least to not being hungry. But uh unfortunately for Justin, he's paired with Steven, but he's uh he's number seven and number eight is Brian Davis. So uh how do you feel about that, Justin? Uh well I mean, obviously, it doesn't really matter, right? Because <laughs> the fastest people on the course. Yeah, yeah. So there's something about knowing someone behind you may be passing you. It's just not a good feeling. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Collinsville General Store, where breakfast is made. Oh, yeah. Chicken biscuit this year for the win. Pete's getting a sausage and egg. Oh, yeah, not going to lie, folks. The Collinsville General Store biscuits are pretty good. Mm. I'm gonna have to put this camera down. Jason Gatliff, everybody. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. We're just out here soaking up some sunshine. I hear you. This is my friend William. Hey, William. Remember, I told Howdy. you, William Brown. A friend William of mine now. lives in Nebo. We go to yeah, yeah. the gorge. Yeah. This is him. Fantastic. Don't say anything, folks. Yeah. But it's the fastest man to ever paddle oh. the gorge. This is him. This is him. That's Elijah. Him. The main Not man. Me. Oh, you know it is. <laughs> He's my hero. When I grow up, I want to be like Elijah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The fun is beginning, folks. All the cool kids are up here now. Registration is on. Look. Look who it is, everybody. Oh, yeah, buddy. The one and only. Eric Condry yeah. in the flesh, Hat legend. Model. I think he was actually the lead singer for Journey back in the 70s. <laughs> and now he's just daylighting as a, uh, I'm not even kidding. This is a rock star, folks. Like, Ooh. he just has rock star vibes. Look at him. Wow, <laughs> Did you play bass or guitar or what? Oh, yeah. All right, look over into. Tell the world who you are. Josh Redbeard Collins. <laughs> he's a... Uh, Kathy calling Redbeard. He's calling me out because apparently last year he wanted a sticker and I said, yeah, let me go get you one. And then I never came back. He never came back. I've been waiting on River King swag for two years, y'all. That's bad. I'm going to take him down in the cabin in just a minute. We're going to get him some swag. Awesome. Yeah, Sounds we're going to get him set up. Ashley, oh. you're racing? No. What? No. It's a perfect level for you. It actually is. It actually oh. is. Oh. Did you bring a boat? No, I for the joy lap after. I didn't. I didn't. What? I know. I, okay, okay, oh. okay. I just started working. Jerry's out of, out of town. I, and I'm here we are break. loafing. <laughs> the outlaws. We got Trin. Josie Wells. Johnny. James. Yes, yeah, the Morganton Outlaws. Coming in here to try to win this thing. Look, everybody, it's the big bad boofing daddy. <laughs> All right, it's a party now, folks. We got Duke. She's in the house. <laughs> bringing the style and the reputation up a little bit so uh -oh, uh -oh. and you're running some shuttles i hear i'm running shuttle and uh, oh, pictures yeah. at boatbuster fantastic all right folks i'm here to observe all the secrets and apparently the winning tradition is a pre-raised bath you got it got to keep it fresh and clean you know finally shaking the hand of world famous chris wing oh man how you been i'm good man and uh they've also convinced me to embarrass myself by getting into pandemonium of the longboat race yes, again so that's the race it'll, it'll be fun that's it's race. we had a blast out here yesterday but uh the boat across gonna be an awesome thing yeah, so that's so much fun that's actually why yeah. i'm here like the short boat is like you have to do it to get a longboat that's yeah. exactly right h2o yeah. dreams folks check him out good to meet you man. likewise man are you one of the hemsworths no you I get wish. that a lot Fourth, uh, their fourth <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, the kayaking well, I, Hemsworth. I have gotten that one before. Nice. 
I had to double take down there at the restaurant. I was like, what? Nah, hey, he now he's in the paddle and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna fall off the spot. Thank you again for coming for Amy. Start every time. Ten seconds of silence for Amy. Keep it pointed straight. Stay in the flow. That's all. And never stop paddling. So whatever speed you have to do to paddle all the way to the bottom, put that same effort all the way. Don't like juice hard and then be smoked. Or don't lollygag and then wish you had paddled harder. Like this fine line to figure out what you can do. But um, you're gonna make your time by going through the current well and having juice to paddle the flats. 10 foot falls, definitely be on the left as you come over the falls. Go fast day 2024. The first of the boaters are in the water getting ready. Everyone else is getting staged talking about final lines and preparation and ideas and strategies to get down the river as fast as we can. Uh, it's such a fun day out here. Beautiful Wilson Creek Gorge. Look at that. Simply an awesome place. And this is a this is one of the days I look forward to most out of the whole year. Every year. And a day like this, oh my goodness, the weather is probably 55 degrees, maybe 60. Perfect bluebird day, not a cloud in the sky. And the water's running about negative six today, just under negative six, so amazing, amazing day. We got uh, Elijah and Chris Wing starting. These are two of your meat eaters, folks. Probably number one and two on the day. And uh, let's we'll see what happens. It's gonna be like that all the way down, folks, I promise. Oh, we're doing this. Let me take All right, folks, off. look who yeah, I, I got. got camera on today. Oh, you look cool with it. His hair looks oh, better than mine. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta put my, I gotta look good for the Anthony camera. Anthony Brown here for good his you, second Wilson Go Fast day. Yeah, it's time to go fast. He is um, behind me this year. Yeah, yeah, I don't want Pete passing me, so it's all so, good. So, how many minutes behind, what, what's your number? Uh, 16. He's so. three minutes behind me. So if he can beat me this year, it would be perfect poetic justice for last year. I'm yeah, hoping that doesn't happen, um, but it might. It never, you never know. So I'm excited to see him out here again. I was hoping you were going to take a slower boat this year. I bought I, this. This one's screaming. Yeah, I know. It's fast. I know it's screaming. Good luck out there. Pleasure. Keep I'll it see straight. You at the Keep it safe. Are y'all? Where's your? Who's your partner? Uh, Scott. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, it's code. Right on. Mike, enjoy! <laughs> I'll see you in a couple minutes. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Like, oh. I just had to throw it out there. Five, four, three, two, yes, Steve! One, go. Yes, sir! 13, lucky 13, yeah, baby! Take the inside and just go. Right. I'll give you the I'll give you the entrance. So we don't have to figure that out. Five, four, three, Good luck. Two,
Do you get gas? Yeah. You're flying, bro. Slow down. Yeah, there we go. You were going so fast. That's what I'm doing. Somewhere around here at Little Woodall, the adrenaline will wear off. It's easy to overcharge the beginning of this event, which will leave you gassed and unable to recover. The course is two miles long. You can't sprint the beginning. Rather, you have to establish a good pace that you can continue from the beginning to the end, and perhaps even have a little left over in the tank for unexpected snags, hiccups, or maybe to pass a buddy at the end. So far, so good. Ten Foot Falls is the first place you hear and see the crowd again. And usually, it's about where I start settling in and making adjustments to the pace. I'm trying. Woo. Thank you, sir. Each time I participate in the Go Fast, it seems to be a little different. Last year, I was paired with and kept pace with Hunter. It was the motivation I needed to keep pushing. I'm not sure I would have paddled as fast last year if I wasn't trying to keep up with him. This year, I found myself alone and out front. And while I knew I was keeping a good pace, I was digging deep to evaluate if I was truly motivated, if I could go faster, or if I was going too fast. In the end, I'm not sure which is the better motivation, keeping up with a fast paddler, or maybe paddling faster because you know you're out front and you don't have someone to push you. You'll find there's lots to think about when you're going as fast as you can down a river and you're alone.
as I went through No Name and Piton Ledge. I found rivers Vuvuzela and cheering to be quite encouraging. Just ahead is my favorite dark corner, Boatbuster Thunderhole. Up ahead, I noticed Eric Condry and Adam McFalls doing some rough calculations on the fly. I started joking to myself that I would probably catch him at the unrunnable rock jam, which could be a very dicey place to make a pass. Things were going well. I was calm, and I felt like I was running pretty fast. I just needed to keep this pace and keep this groove. Here we were at Unrunnable Rock Jam, 
Just before I enter my slot, I was distracted by both paddlers getting pinned. At first it looked like Adam was in a bad way. I thought I might need not only to avoid him, but to actually get out and help. But as he worked himself loose, Eric pinned. Suffice to say, with all the goings on, I simply took my eye off the prize and missed my line. As I came back around, Adam was free and Eric was doing fine. And there was my pass in the middle of unrunnable rock jam, the most unlikely rapid on the whole run. Adam never knew it happened, and right up until the moment he looked at me, he still thought I was his paddling buddy, Eric. It seems somewhere around here, above Razorback, that you start thinking about the finish line. You only have to make it through one more major rapid, followed by one more manky penny spot. After which, you're basically in the run out to the finish line. You just gotta keep it together for a little while longer.
Yeah, you're cooking for hand paddles. Sorry about that. Ash beats take a podium. Whew! I did, I blew one line bad. Did you? The one above no name. Oh, okay. Good job. Thank you, sir. Dude, you were cranking. You were the only person that passed me. I thought I was gonna have like 10 people pass me over this course. That's, uh, you were, I told you, like, you're smoking for hand paddler, dude. I'm impressed. Dude, he was flying down the river with some hand paddles. I was like, how's he still in front of me? He's hand paddling. And then I passed him. I was like, good, I passed him. And I heard, whoosh, he's still right there. I was like, oh my gosh. You got on the flats though, and you is just took yeah. off, man. Did anybody see the guy that started with me? Who is it? That buddy guy. No. We're screaming out of the takeout. I just like, out of the, the start. You had a fast lap. Immediately. That looked good, like you, you're right there. I couldn't dig. Yeah. Oh, but. Well, at least I had a pretty clean run. Yeah. Oh, we'll see what happens. Matt, Matt was pretty fast too, so you may have whooped me. You may have beat me. That's a fast lap, Matt. If I did, it's like the Christmas miracle. Yes, sir. Ooh. Ooh, good stuff, guys. Tony, let's go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Tony! What's up? 
Good question. How was it, Tony? It's good. It's not bad. I, uh, I got to say that I was somewhat relieved to finish and look back and not see you and not have been passed by you. So my goal for the day is complete. I passed a fair bit of people, but I was like. Feels better than last year's experience, right? <laughs> Everybody ready? Oh, this is going to be awesome. 30 seconds from now. Yeah. <laughs> How many boats can you fit in a three-foot channel? It's gonna be awesome. Come on, get up in front of me, guys. So look at that. Look at that. <laughs> like manatees. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's, a, it's terrible. <laughs> Come on, Justin. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> This is crazy. Go straight. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah.
I hit a big old piton. It's a big quarter inch in. Yeah. <laughs> Find out why you stay all the way left. I was like, this is working. Boom. I think we almost finished how we went through entrance. So there wasn't much anything happening, but everyone just kind of stayed there. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. I still, uh, there was still some beatering, but mostly it was, mostly it was from rubbing and yeah. I was telling, spun out there's the a distinct people. disadvantage for intentionally going last to catch for the yeah. footage. You're yeah. not coming back to the front. Yeah. You, you let people go to start with? Yeah, I told everybody, y'all go, because I want this on film. Like, the sun was right there. It's like, go, it's like, ah! Everyone going for, Everyone first, going for entrance. Like, yeah. how many boats were there? Like, 15? A little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> Finish strong, come on, come on! Woo! Hit the, <laughs> hit the sandbar, then run. Get out and run from the sandbar. Run from the sandbar. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna swim. Oh. They swim. Oh. <laughs> they want the swimmer bell. <laughs> yeah. the bell. Oh. Woo. This stuff. I couldn't believe I swam. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> what happened? It's you sit the whole like sideways? A genetic condition that just <laughs> Genetically prone to beatering. <laughs> With world famous Ilya from Cape Fear River Adventures. Go fast was great. Go fast was great. Beautiful day. He was screaming there. through there, folks. I couldn't catch him. Uh, anything you want to tell the world? You should paddle more. Paddle more and go check him out. Cape Fear River Adventures. Uh, right down there in Lillington. Yeah, opening up uh, March 2nd. March 2nd. What do you offer? Tubing? Kayak rentals? Tubing, canoes, kayaks, paddle boards. We're also starting uh, some classes, intro to, to, intro to kayaking, river safety, and intro to whitewater kayaking. Fabulous. All right. If you're in the area, Lillington, Fayetteville, Irwin, that whole part of the world, this is your man. Go check him out. He'll take care of you. Good we'll see you on the river. Buddy. See you on the river. Deuce! Sneaking in over here. Oh, we messed that up. Right. We saved it. Dude, and then uh, Mark Brooks. I've been I've been chatting with Mark online for a couple years. Yeah. It's good to finally meet a face. Absolutely. Meet someone in person. So yeah, man. How was it for you today? It was fantastic. Oh, I didn't run. I was watching you. Where did you uh, Where did you post up? I was at uh, Ten Foot Falls. Good deal. Yep. Good deal. Yeah. You looked like you had some juice right when I yep. yelled out Beck, and you looked up yep. pretty healthy. <laughs> it was a uh, great run. I feel tired, but I had a good lap. The Beater Award. Well, not fun for the person who gets it. But they have to admit, the, the Creek won and beat it. Beat the individual. So, without further ado, Mr. Peck, will you please come forward? Buddy! Yeah! Alright, in third place is that Maddie Payne. Woo! Old guys, 50 plus. Man, this is really bad. <laughs> uh, Eric Condry, are you around? Eric! Eric! Oh, you got it. <laughs> Very presumptive of you to be up there. In this age group, Mr. Bank. Thank you, sir. All I had Thank to do was ask for a hat, and I got one. And Pete won. I don't know how. Pete ran a 2004. Nope, sorry. Uh, 2054. He still owes me a three. little slower. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Woo! All right. And here's this. Here's the oh. 18 minutes and 30 seconds at a level of minus 6.5. 
I'm getting a, I'm getting the abs cramp. So I got Craig and Amy Bailey. Where y'all from? Lancaster, South Carolina. Right on. Up for the, is this your first Go Fast day? Yes. yes. How'd you like it? Loved it. Can't awesome. wait to come back. Good folks up here, folks. Do y'all whitewater paddle? Yes. Very good. Very good. I didn't run today. I hadn't never been on there, so I just came to see what this was all about. Do you about. think you're good enough to run this one? I think I am. Do you have your boat? I do. It goes nowhere without. Do you want to find out if you're good enough? Absolutely. Go get ready. You fix and go now? Yep. And in probably about 30 minutes. Let's do it. Let's do it. How's your roll? About 75% of the time. Perfect. <laughs> if that's enough for Swimmer you. Swimmer bells, baby. All right, folks. <laughs> Custom pink dagger code medium in honor of Amy Bag. Go with the raffle. 20 bucks entry. Link in the description. Check it out. The money is going to uh, keep the gauge here at Wilson Creek open and also going to a cleaner Wilson Creek. Uh, folks that keep uh, this place cleaned up and all the trash gone. So custom pink, you won't find another one. All right, folks, if you don't know, Justin swam on the longboat lap. So we have the ceremonial donning of the swimmer bell sticker. Look at Let's that see. beauty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo. Swim team, baby. Proud of you racers. The first timers. Yeah! Honoring our little tradition, we all rally for one more joy lap to close out the day. The sun was saying goodbye to the top of the hills as evening crept into the valley. This was going to be my favorite lap of the day as I got to share it with P5 my not-so-little adventure buddy. I guess I should be used to it by now, but I always love to watch him paddle as he makes things look so easy and effortless. We were nine strong and enjoying every inch of the river. One thing that made this run special is it was Craig's PFD. That's him in the red and orange boat with the blue helmet. Wilson Creek is a run he's been wanting to get on for some time. And here he was. And his PFD would be one he would not soon forget. There were people stuck in holes. There were lost paddles. There were pins. And there was paddling in the dark. And from top to bottom, he was all smiles. As Mike lined up, he drifted too far to the center of the hole, and that would make for an awesome rodeo. Further right! You're good, you're good there! Hey! Hey, Mike, Mike, Mike! Go the other way! You're good. You need to get out on that side. I got my shield, bro. I got my train. 
You're fine, relax. You're good. Hey, you need a rope? You're almost there. I got your rope coming. Look out. Look out. Get ready. Get ready. You're good. It'll come, just stay. Hey, hey, back up, back up. Justin, if it stays in that pocket, knock it out. Did you hit it? No. It just started climbing. Be patient, it'll come. Mike hung in there like a champ with a minute and 12 second rodeo in the hole. Once he recovered, we headed out for the next test, which would be the 10 foot fall sequence. This one also got a little spicy. And here's a major tip on setting downstream safety. Always set up on the side of the river that allows you to push a paddler to safety. By being on the river right, if someone has trouble, I can push and pull hard into that eddy to get them to safety. If I start out on river left, I'll be at a major disadvantage in retrieving bodies, boats, and gear. Very nice. Don't do it, don't do it, Steve. You got it. Go, go that way, go that way. Nice! Yeah! River left daddy, river left daddy. Craig pinned on the little pocket on the left side of the hole. Justin sprang into action and knocked him out of the pin. <laughs> Having retrieved a boat there before, I wanted to save a lot of time and difficulty by jet ferrying the hole and grabbing the boat on my way by. To set up, I have to fall into the pile high. Having never done just this exact move, my setup wasn't the smoothest, but all in all, it went just like I hoped.
We had Craig and we had his boat, but his paddle was sucked into the undercut at the pocket. No, I can't. I don't know where it's at. I can't feel it. After a five or 10 minute unsuccessful search for the paddle, I pull out my spare and down the river we go. Craig was no worse for the wear and he was still smiling. He didn't do that right. You good? You okay? Woo! Swim, Wait. swim right, swim right. You'll be able to touch in a minute. Grab your boat. You got your boat? You seen your, your paddles up there. Right. You got bags in there? No. Nice. Can I throw you this paddle? Yes. Yep! Chris was missing one pogey and a drain plug. He got his pogey back, but the river kept his plug. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, second one? Yep. See if it works. It's liquid logic, it might work. Yep.
it's as big as if it was on the board to be one of the big rapids. But it's super easy. What? What's it called? I don't even know. It's not in the regular run. I don't even know if it has a name. But um, you stay all the way left. Just this big slide into a, like a big old pile wave. You bust through that. You aim into that. And when you get level, turn left. And it's a big wave train wave. It's pretty cool. It's a really fun one. It trains out. If this was in the gorge, it'd be one of the big rapids. Okay. But it's super easy. It's super easy. Yeah, super easy. This is not like triple drop at night. You ready? Hey, and look, everyone wants to be a River King until they do River King things. <laughs> Let's paddle in the dark, baby! Everyone tap the back of their GoPro so we can see where everyone is. Everybody looks like anglerfish. <laughs> Not the best line. <laughs> oh, you got a little help from a friend. Oh. Too much fun, boys. Hands down, I absolutely enjoy it. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you came, so dude. All right, boys, let's go get that dry. And I think there's some, some burgers somewhere. We haven't had a good uh, jangle lap in a while. That was, was fun. It was time to wait for y'all, but it was like. That was a fun lap. What a day. All right, folks, end of the day for Craig and I. He crushed it on his PFD in the dark, finishing up. Uh, had a little exciting moment there at uh, 10 foot. 10 foot. Um, but uh, he smiled ear to ear the whole time and he, he's like, you know, my truck's right here. I can just, you know, I don't want to hold you up. I was like, no. Pulled out the four piece, put it in his hand, and said, "Keep paddling." How'd you like it? Most favorite yes. river I've ever done. This is this is it. Oh, this is awesome. River. So it's unofficially his favorite river. <laughs> but we've got plans. I'm gonna take him to the Teleco. Wonderful. He's ready, and then then he's gonna have a hard decision to make about what his favorite river is. So true. Well, I appreciate you coming out, man. Thank you. Thank y'all for. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, all of you. And for all the rest of you on his crew, you should have come. Yes. They should have come. They should have come. Oh, missed out. All right. Scotty and Corey, you, you, you missed out. Totally. <laughs> Scotty and Corey, where were you? We're all looking for you. This heater feels pretty good. It Makes really does. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, the burger yeah. down here at your number three <laughs> you say that earlier. is uh, that you did have. off the hook. Fabulous job, Alan. Um, they did a big old spread for us. Got brats, burgers, some chips, drinks. And... Um, it's good. Oh, it might be the world's best hamburger. Mmm. Here's the spot. This is the best cheeseburger I ever had. The chef. Mm. <laughs> Got a new one on me. That's supposedly how you eat a moon pie. Heat it up with a fork. Heat it up. Eat it with a fork. This is a victory moon pie. Yeah. For one of us. And um. But <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna allow you to eat that. Desserts are for winners and not swimmers. You know what? Show me how it's done. I conquered Justin. some personal. Oh yeah. Personal demons. So. All right, let's see how it is. Man. Hmm. Is that it? Oh cool. Let's try this. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too hot. I'm thinking it might be. If it's as hot as a plate. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> what do we think? Mmm. Justin, that's pretty good. I know what I'm talking about. Grab like a fork. most things. Grab a fork and take a bite of this. <laughs> exactly. I didn't mean that big of a bite. <laughs> no, no. You can but just, now you're just butchering you're, it. You're, what, <laughs> don't play with your food. <laughs> yeah, you're going to love this. 
That's definitely a game changer. Yeah. Yes. I'm telling you. Oh, uh, let's, let's only go you guys for a would listen bite. to me more. Mm. 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 Comforting, sweet. It tastes like victory. What does it taste like for you? <laughs> <laughs> it never ends. Oh man, what a favor this weekend. This is good. Anyone else want to try heated moon pie? All right. What does P5 think? How many stars out of 10? Three? P5 is not a fan. Um, he does not impress easily, so um, take it take it what you want. No, that is, he may not like moon pies to begin with. More than he <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do you like moon pies normally? Not really. Well, there you go. Sunday morning. I always wake up about 6.45. Um, or so on my just on my own time and I did that and I figured let's go up here to the pavilion beautiful place up here and let's go sit by the river hear the rush of the Wilson Creek if you look out this window that's the river up there and I've got this whole place to myself and there's Wi-Fi in here there's also Wi-Fi up at the coffee house so I am just taking a quick minute to get plugged back into the world. Got my laptop over here. And uh, it's kind of a nice morning, just enjoying this place to myself. Um, just gonna put a couple blurbs out on uh, social media and whatnot, and then um, get back, get a little breakfast uh, whenever the other guys wake up. I'll walk out here on the deck. I mean, look at this, folks. This is where we did the award ceremony. They have the pizzas coming out over there and everything else. It's just an amazing place. And of course, Wilson Creek in all its glory. Kind of has an alpine feel to it. Pretty awesome. It's that time, sadly. The crew is saying their goodbyes. Justin, a fantastic weekend, man. Yeah, man. I was hoping I'm not going to mention the swim. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the look in his eyes. I hadn't seen Where Justin swim sky? in at least, at least He's just making 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> it's been 15 years I have not seen him swimming. Um, but you get your hall pass for to swim when you race. Isn't that right, Alan? Right. Um, there may or may not be some footage of Alan <laughs> um, at Folk Buster. I do have a uh, screenshot I took um, that you will see later today on social media that may or may not involve Alan's Nirvana uh -oh. um, and oh, Thunder Hole. Really so, uh, <laughs> he already said he thought he would see uh, that. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks to Bonnie and Alan for feeding us last night and hanging out all weekend. Especially proud of Alan for his first go fast. Yeah, man. It's what I'm talking about. Loved every minute of it, even Look, the inverted ones. It happens, man. It happens. <laughs> Y'all be safe. We'll do it again next year. So Matt has brought me some footage this morning. Just found out he's a car racer, and uh, he's doing the 24 hours of lemons, not Le Mans. And uh, you get an old beater lemon, and you try to race it on track for 24 hours. It sounds pretty fantastic. That's a hoot, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's gonna be good. But we also found out that. Uh, they serve a mean breakfast bagel up in here. This is the coffee shop at the resort here up at the top. And uh, we're gonna go in here and see what kind of breakfast they have. Oh, it's all the cool kids up here. Morning, guys. Oh, yeah, look at you. <laughs> there she is, folks. That could be yours. Get your raffle tickets in. Appreciate all y'all work and organizing. Can't wait to show the river with this stud right here. River, you saw him here. This is gonna be the poster child. And then later, the rock star of kayaking and mountain biking and whatever else he does. Good to see you, man. Thank you. I wanna be like River when I grow up. Thanks, Mom. David George, rock star. Buy your star. raffle ticket. Buy your raffle ticket. Thank you much. Yeah, man, have a good one. Oh man, the bagel was on time, folks. All right, it's all fun and games until Old Blue doesn't start.
Here we are again. I think I think we may be near the end. She just runs good when I get her going. And you feel good for a few months and then, then you're up here at the resort trying to leave. And uh, she doesn't play nice. So the uh, effort to crank the truck, the starter is now broken. The post is broke out of it and it's throwing some sparks. So now we have a second problem to solve first, a new starter. We noticed uh, James is a mechanic, if you don't know. Uh, and he told me this probably maybe one of the worst belts you've ever seen, or is it the worst belt? Worst belt I've ever seen without it being broken. Oh, so we're going to go get a starter and a belt. All right, AutoZone run to Lenore complete. New starter, belt. We're going to put the starter on first to make sure that uh, it'll start. And if it does, we're going to swap the, uh, the belt off as well. But uh, all fun. We're telling ourselves that it's all fun right so uh, apparently i owe to mistake dinner he got the old starter off while we were at the store so that's what i'm talking about is it on yeah that was fast <laughs> she's running thanks to james my original plan was to paddle one more lap with james and some friends but my truck didn't cooperate James spent the little bit of time he had available fixing my truck, and I can't thank him enough. Tim had a five hour drive ahead of him, but had stuck around to make sure I got going. And it was only right to end the weekend by giving Tim a little taste of the gorge. We hiked in from just below Huntley's retreat and paddled one last little lap down to the resort. And wouldn't you know it, Craig's crew was up here sending a lap of their own and now, it was Craig that should have been here. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Yeah! Lucas? And then... Scotty. Scotty and Corey. Gotcha. Fabulous. First taste of the gorge, here we go. You ready? Onward. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's a fun one, isn't it? Old Blue's running. We got a little taste of Wilson. That's a good end to a weekend that tried to end poorly. So uh, I appreciate all your help, man. Okay, we couldn't let it end bad. You'll see more Tim um, in his beautiful blue code. We're gonna get him back out here for the full run. And so the weekend finished on a good note after all. P5 and I loaded the truck, stopped by for some gas station pizza, and set a course for home. We talked about all the fun we had had, his future plans, and how nice it would be to get home to the girls and the dogs. 
mostly, I was just feeling grateful and blessed to have him alongside for yet another adventure. The 2024 Paddle Fest has been my favorite yet. I'm another year older, another year slower, and another year closer to no longer calling this earth my home. But I'm still alive, and today is all I have. And that's the whole point of the paddle fast, to celebrate life. This year, several of my friends competed. Some did well, and some didn't have their best day. But what matters is that they sent the lap. Our time is too precious to hold back on relationships, on your calling, on chasing those dreams. And lastly, and most importantly for me, it's a day to remember my biggest fan, a sweet, bubbly little girl named Madison who left this earth too soon. Her smile could brighten anyone's day and she remains a constant inspiration to try to do the same. And so we paddle a lap for Amy, for Madison, and for all those who are no longer traveling this river of life. This life is short, but it has a purpose. Find it and make it count. <laughs>